डॉक्टर किशोर इंगोले सर विद अ सॅपलिंग ऑफ ट्री डॉक्टर योगिता सुरक्षा ने मैन विद अ सैपलिंग ऑफ ट्री थैंक यू मैम आई रिक्वेस्ट अजय टू प्लीज वेलकम डॉक्टर पुरानिक मैम एचओडी पैथोलॉजी विद अ सैपलिंग ऑफ ट्री
before I introduce and give thanks to our dean. Uh, I would like to introduce uh, in a very short uh, way to our uh, sir. I'm not going to tell you the degrees and the what academic work he has done, what uh, he has done. But when I uh, just see our uh, sir since last uh, uh, two years, my reading is that he is like an eagle. He is like an eagle. When I go through a different uh, literature, I come to know that his skill, discipline, and uh, attitude, all is very similar to that of eagle. It is very, now I'll tell you how, how it is very similar to the eagle. You will see this uh, first slide. He is a very good administrator. There is no doubt in it. Very good. But I would like to add one more word. But you don't know. But though he is harsh, he has a, a very soft heart inside his body. Which uh, uh, very people come to know. Those who come in trouble, only those people will come to know that he is of a soft. Otherwise, the people will think that he is a very, uh, a very uh, angry man. <laughs> but this is not like that. You will understand it when you will come under the trouble. Twice I come under the trouble during my last two years, and every time he helped me. And I know it's not only me. There are many people to him he helped. It is the same feature which is in the eagle. Next, uh, like an eagle, he, uh, you know that whenever there is a storm, whenever there is a storm, what other uh, birds and the animals and everybody on earth, what they do, they will try to uh, see a shelter. Try to see a shelter. But the eagle never uh, go to the shelter. He is not a mad man or not a fucking man because he has a skill, he has a attitude and he has a ability to do a practice every day. And because of that, what he will do, he fly above the sky. So when we have a, a rain, storms, and everything is there, it is because of the sky and other environmental uh, picture. He is enjoying that storm. He is enjoying that storm. So I also find that sir enjoy the challenges. Enjoy the challenges. That is the and I will give the example. I am not tech talking because he is my dean. He is my dean. I am talking because everybody knows. Everybody knows. He is like telling. Uh, one example is that uh, when the uh, a storm come on this institute. A one time come when during the pandemic. Uh, pandemic. Suddenly there is a storm in Jalgaon. Many first year people might not know. Our is the city having the highest rate of death at the international level. And nobody was ready to take the discharge. Now it is not a confidential one. If junior people like me, mere tak ke number a gaya tha, ki bhai aap lete ke charge kar. But everybody says no. And during that period, sir accepted this challenge accepted this challenge to become a dean of a such a such a institute and the everything was a chaos is there no leader is there no uh, discipline is there because the, as there is no leader everybody is scattered sir came and he had changed again i will not uh, like to tell you because you have eye mind and everything so you see the picture, though you again first year student might not know, when I enter into this institute, I really tell you, and very frankly I tell you, that I have to my missus for 6 months. I have to say, what a bad thing, that you have to say for 6 months, I have to say for 6 months. I have to say for 6 months. I'm 
very thankful again. That is one of the character of the seagull. He is the one of the most romantic bird in the out of all the. With lot of lot of efforts he has taken. I know what efforts he has taken. There are six and seven people who knows he what he even he uh, he uh, doesn't feel that I am a uh, dean. Even here, even the, he has to go to the some plus uh, table. He is the he, he never goes to our club, but in other office. Suppose he has uh, some work with the collector office, and if he feels that if I meet to that uh, that club and that will solve my problem of my institute, he went there. So they, he doesn't have an ego also. So with this short introduction, I would like to finish this uh, one. Everyone knows the sir. Uh, sir, I'm very sorry if I said some wrong side or wrong word. Uh, but you are really a romantic one. Uh, and a uh, very kind-hearted, very kind-hearted person. Don't take the world of romantic in a different way. Thank you. Jai Hind, Jai Bhar. Now, the moment we all have been waiting for, the white coat ceremony begins. The beginning of our career in medicine. The white coat ceremony is a proud and memorable moment in the life of every medical student. As we all know, getting admission has worked very hard to make our this dream come true. To honor every student for their achievement of getting admission at GMC Jalgao, may I request our respected dignitaries to please bless us by tagging each one of us with our name plate on our white coat, a proud symbol of dignity, purity and nobleness. May I request Prem Abhishek Nikhil to please announce the names of girls in the group of seven each.
रंग सी रातें सुरंग सी बारी उड़ान पे ही न जाने क्यों इलाही मेरा जी आए आए इलाही मेरा जी आए आए कंधे पे मेरा बस्ता चला मैं जहा ले चला मुझे रास्ता कूदों पे नहीं गहरे समंदर पे ओ ओ ओ the qualities of nobleness building and maintaining of a good character and ethics in every medical student we have to swear in Shall be guarded. My act shall be guarded. Service oriented. Service oriented. And free from. And free from. Indiscipline and envy. Indiscipline and envy. In dealings. In dealings. I shall be patient. I shall be patient. Obedient. Obedient. Humble. Humble. Constantly contemplative. Constantly contemplative. And calm. And calm. I shall aim my full efforts. I shall aim my full efforts. And ability. And ability. Towards the desired goal. Towards the desired goal. Of the guru. Of the guru. As a physician. As a physician. In order to gain success. In order to gain success. And fame. And fame. And earn money. And earn money. Shall always use. Shall always use. My knowledge. My knowledge. For the welfare. For the welfare. Of living mankind. Of living mankind. I assure you sir on behalf of every student in our class that will be committed and will always remain abide by the charak shapat and will always hold our college flag high
Solakshan, head of the Department of Physiology. Dr. Chaudhary, head of the Department of Biochemistry. Dr. Puranik, Madam, head of the Department of Pathology. Our medical superintendent, Dr. Vijay Gaitwad. All the uh, staff members who are medical college and that to government medical college are now. Now, before I proceed with uh, the Dean's address, I uh, make a, a few observations. The first is that whatever Dr. Inhulia has said about me is patently false. <laughs> <laughs> Please ignore it. Uh, the only thing, uh, actually, very few people know and uh, I said, uh, talk about, uh, is a little personal. So when he said that I am a romantic person, that is very true. <laughs> PG. We were two families apart in every respect in terms of the beliefs, in terms of caste, creed, whatever, language, everything pulls apart. And when uh, uh, the family members started, you know, creating trouble, I just went to civil uh, court uh, family and married in presence of two of my co PG students. <laughs> sitting in front of me, 90% of them won't be there in this institute. Okay, because of the uh, admission procedure, you have multiple rounds, you keep, uh, keep on changing colleges and the preferences and all, yeah. all that stuff. Uh, so, uh, I really congratulate Dr. Ingole for this very innovative idea wherein we have uh, Dean's address after all the admission process has settled down. So now, uh, in front of me, I have 148 students who uh, will be continuing with Government Medical College, uh, Jalgaon. And two more are to come from the All India quota. So this is an innovation. And of course the white quote uh, ceremony because now I come to what my director told me in the morning. Uh, I just called him uh, to say that he should come at nine o'clock. He said I have already been told that I need to come. Uh, I need to come at nine o'clock. Sir, uh, Dean's day is <laughs> coming. I mean, the father's day, mother's day, the baby's day, or they out to the state. Huh? So, what am I saying, sir? Husband is there, wife is there. I can't record a record a you all have come to this medical college through a system which is called as 10 plus 2 system in which you have 10 years schooling, 2 years in the junior college and then you come to a professional college. 
and uh, usually uh, students choose professional courses based on uh, I think less of their aptitude and attitude and more on what their uh, parents say, the background they come from, etc., etc., etc. And uh, and uh, in most cases, I'm sure that medicine is chosen because of the economic aspect, the economic affluence that comes with becoming a doctor. Okay, and that is why we have a system where government medical colleges are there, private medical colleges are there. Those who cannot get it from government, government medical college can go into private medical uh, college, for colleges. Of course, in private medical colleges, it's an investment. Okay, but in government medical college, it is a professional and personal commitment that you make while entering the profession. Now the course that you have joined is actually what is called as modern medicine. You have joined a course in modern, if, you are, if somebody asks you, you say I have joined MBBS at Government Medical College Jaya But the real and the correct term is modern medicine because modern medicine needs to be contrasted with what is called as traditional medicine. There is something called Ayurveda. No? Students uh, also apply for, uh, for courses in Ayurveda, homeopathy, Yunani, Siddha, so on and so forth. Now you will be surprised to know that modern medicine is a foreign export. It is not, not uh, innate to India. The development of modern medicine started in the 14th century. To be precise, due to the exact origin can be traced to what is called a black death or plague which occurred in Europe. Uh, between 1348 and uh, 1350. And during uh, this black death or plague, 25% of the population of Europe was wiped out. You know, something uh, similar to what happened during the corona crisis in the world over. But that was a very terrible crisis. And till that point in time, till that point in time, the human endeavor and human activity was geared in a very different way. In those days, uh, you know, less importance was given to man and more importance was given to uh, God. Because man could not apprehend the normal occurrences like uh, sunrise, sunset, different seasons, fury of nature. And so, it was believed that forces of nature need to be placated in order to secure happiness and long, uh, long run. Okay. After black, black, uh, death or play in 1848 and 50, the man realized that we are barking at the wrong tree. Not God, but man is the most beautiful thing on the earth. This phenomenon is called as Renaissance and it gives give rise to two concepts humanism and rationality. Humanism means from now on man started. That is, humankind started focusing on man himself. He looked at himself and found that he is the most beautiful creation of nature. So you will find uh, sentences like, What a creation of nature is man, the jewel of the eye, the paragon of all living beings. Man's innate ability, man's intellectual capacity, puts him far apart from all other creatures in kingdom and in India. Can, you, can a dog uh, create internet? Or for that matter, can a monkey create internet? Or uh, any, all the other creatures in uh, kingdom and India are far, far behind uh, man. Man is number one. Who is number two? There is no number two, no number three, no number four. There is no competition. Is there any other creature in uh, kingdom and India who can match the intelligence of man. And then he, uh, so rather than placating nature, man should try to conquer, I will not use the word conquer, but at least try to tame nature. Okay? So, and thereafter began, began studies in anatomy. Anatomy, because man looked at himself, at his own body and found that he had, a, he had the best body in kingdom and in India. Okay? And uh, coupled with rationalism. Rationalism is critical inquiry. Do not accept anything without questioning it. No question, unquestioning ac acceptance of any fact just because someone else is saying so. And this critical uh, attitude 
gave rise to studies in astronomy. So in astronomy, Copernicus said for the first time that earlier uh, uh, Christianity believed that the sun moved around the uh, earth. Uh, uh, the sun moved, uh, see this is the most important part of the ceremony, so please don't sleep. <laughs> This is the most important part of the ceremony. So, 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 Thereafter, his student was Galileo. Galileo developed telescope. And he said, yes, the earth moves around the sun. For this, Galileo was punished. Huh? For blasphemy. This is called blasphemy. That you are going against the scriptures of Christianity. You are saying, how dare you say that the earth goes around the sun. Now, when the sun goes around the earth, the earth is the center of the universe. So he was brought brought before the clergy. Yeah, he was brought before the clergy and he was asked to recant his statement and say hundred times, Shambhar Vada Man, say hundred times that the earth moves around the sun. So he said, yes, the, the, sorry, the sun moves around the earth. Okay, hundred times you have to say. He said it ninety-nine times. And the hundred time he said, the sun moves around the earth, but I think it is exactly the opposite. <laughs> okay, okay. So, developments in astronomy, developments in anatomy. Andreas Vesalius carried out numerous dissections because of which you are now in a position to learn anatomy. He wrote a book called De Humanis Corporis Fabrica. William Harvey described circulation. Before that, circulation was described by two fellows, Gallen and Vesalius. And they said that uh, the uh, pure blood is carried from the left ventricle by arteries to important organs like brain and lungs and impure blood is carried by veins from the right ventricle to all other unimportant organs of the body like stomach. And this belief was, you know, uh, uh, was prospering for nearly 1000 years. Now, Galen said that for this to occur, there should be a hole between the right and left ventricle. Vesalius carried out a number of uh, dissections, but did not find any hole in the heart. Okay? But he did not contradict Galen. Because Galen was the boss and he did not wish to contradict him on in writing. So, anatomy, physiology. So, such dis uh, developments went apace followed by developments in technology. So today, medical science is linked to technology. See, for diagnosis, now you do not rely on your clinical skill. You have MRI machine, you have CT scan, you have ultrasound, and you have a, a battery of investig lab investigation. These are all the result of development in those days. So technology went up as they have discovery of aeroplane, okay, discovery of motor. Earlier, a car used to be called a motor car. Because it had a motor on which it ran. Okay. Combustion engine. Okay. So all these developments went apace. Now coming specifically to medical science, there are a few landmarks. Discovery of anesthesia between 1842 to 1847. Okay. By Dr. William T. G. Morton. He is called as the father of anesthesia. Now that is one if you uh, so desire. I can give a separate one hour lecture on discovery of anesthesia, which is a highly interesting and stimulating uh, account, uh, account in the uh, development of medicine. Thereafter, roughly around in 1870s, Pasteur enunciated the microbial origin of infection. Before that, it was not known that uh, bacteria cause infections. 1921, discovery of insulin. Before that, Patients suffering from type 1 diabetes, which is used to be doomed, they used to have a sure shot death <coughs> by the time they reach the age of 15 years. 1929, discovery of penicillin, and this started an era of discovery of antibiotics because of which microbial infections were uh, 
conquered and microbial falls of death came down rapidly and now we have what are called as emerging uh, lifestyle diseases diabetes hypertension uh, psychiatric problems these are all lifestyle diseases so, so this is how how modern medicine developed and you are now students of modern medicine and modern medicine represents the triumph of rationalism and scientific temperament you are students of science the students of science they came to the level but being student of science is different from having a scientific temperament okay scientific temperament is a entirely different mental at attribute okay so scientific temperament and your white coat the white coat ceremony that that was observed today is an emblem is is an emblem is is signifying the triumph of reason over unreason the medicine that we follow today is called as evidence based medicine for everything you have, you have to prove if you want to carry out some study you have to first meet dr imran teli and submit your protocol before the ethics committee and then the subsequently you have to prove to the entire fraternity that whatever you are saying uh, has evidence to prove your uh, claims so evidence uh, based medicine in marathi this is called as bab da khon at shradhana okay that is evidence based medicine so this is so uh, so that is what white coat uh, your white coat uh, signifies of course as i said earlier your admission in a medical college comes at a time when entire humanity is facing crisis why go for you know recently russia has attacked ukraine which was which was which probably nobody would have dreamt of in the 21st century war world war 1 and world war 2 were things of the past लॉन्ग रन okay because now you are called on to do a, a, a number of uh, a number of uh, things okay. like for example now communication with patients has become very important okay. i'll tell you uh, an uh, anecdote uh, during the corona crisis you know i knew that she'll be going but you know that resident was standing next to her and uh, one uh, relay other relative came in inquiring whether any bed was vacant the kutla bed chillak ahe ka baba tar he said ha ye lokar ja ata vacant hoil bed ane sar maji ahe hapun meli aata kare mala so so communication is very important and and these soft skills are not taught in any medical school from aims to ambezogai no where are these skills taught you have to you have to you have to learn them all by yourself okay so uh, communication next and very important point you need to remember is post corona pandemic because of the lo uh, prolonged lockdown because of economic distress that the society is facing society has become very angry the baseline baseline temperament has become very angry and very intolerant and that is why we are increasingly facing uh, cases of violence in uh, hospitals i hope you know about dr archana sharma Do you know uh, yes so so that is it a very beautiful article was written in times of india by another fellow gynecologist he said that if these such things continue to occur if uh, doctors continue to be attacked with impunity then a time may, may come when when parents will refuse to send their children to medical schools and he ends the article by saying if the white coat turns red the entire country will become a green okay so uh, this uh, uh, 
this is one of the challenges that, that is there before you. And so all these challenges can be overcome by diligence, sincerity, hard work, and becoming uh, cognizant of the milieu in which you are functioning. Once you are in Jalgaon, you should know geography and history of Jalgaon. The type of people that are, the, 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 uh, their habits, okay, the economic condition overall, so on and so forth. So you have to know the milieu in which uh, you are uh, function, functioning. Uh, lastly, I would uh, conclude because I can go on and on. Conclude by saying, uh, telling you something which about which you will be proud, which was touched by Dr. Ingolier. It is not known that Jalga had the highest rate of uh, uh, infections in the country. Huh? In the country. And you know, uh, April 2020, when the first lock, uh, uh, lockdown uh, uh, was declared, by 20, uh, May 2020, things came to such a pass. You know, so, so, so this, this place was flooded with patients. I joined on uh, 13th June 2020. It was flooded with patients. Dr. Ingole had to set up the first uh, government uh, laboratory, media laboratory in the state in record time. Sir, 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 did such a fantastic job in the second wave and third wave that the, 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 that you know the, there was praise all around the, for this institute. Now the number of patients who are flocking to this institute is increasing day by day, and uh, we have been in a uh, position to uh, really gain the confidence of the local population. And uh, this is all because of the teamwork. And so, uh, so in that sense, I uh, very confidently would say that you are entering a highly prestigious institution. The institution was the, which was the sentinel of battle against Corona in a district which had the, which had, which had the highest death rate. In the second and third wave, this was the only hospital that was functioning in the entire district. All private, all, everything was shut down. This was the only hospital which was uh, working and we were working uh, um, 18 hours to 20 hours a day. All the people, all the doctors from T3, para, clinical, everybody was posted. Even dentistry residents were working hard. So in, in that sense, you have now a tough task to follow. You have to live up to the reputation. Remember, once you are a student of government medical college, your identity is obliterated. If you do anything good, that is attributed to the institute. And if you do anything bad, then that is also attributed to the institution. The phone that I, I received says, Sir, you don't have to say that, sir, you don't have to say that, sir. No, 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 sir. Sir, you don't have to say that, sir. And in the newspaper also it comes, God, Chaske Vaitya Ke Maha Vaitya Lachavit Dertan Karun Maha Maha. So remember, now, now the onus is on you to keep our flag flying high. We have already done whatever we could. No, sir. No, sir. And we have done what we could. It is up to you now to keep the flag flying high. I am happy that uh, you have uh, uh, arranged such a nice ceremony because the most important thing that I noticed in this ceremony was enthusiasm. Enthusiasm is very important. In life, every day, day should be lived as if it is the last day of your life. You never know what will happen tomorrow. So enthusiasm um, is very important in life, you know, you, uh, because you are from the 10 plus 2 system, this ranking, uh, topper, this has no meaning. Huh? Ranking, topper, there is no meaning. Perseverance and hard work. All the people who are in the top in any profession is because of two things, perseverance and hard work. On that note, I end this talk. I again thank uh, the organizer that is the first year departments for uh, giving me the opportunity to have uh, interaction with uh, you. It is always a pleasure uh, to interact with uh, young minds. And uh, of course, we will get uh, many more such opportunities in fu uh, future. I would uh, uh, insist that you keep up Keep up the enthusiasm that you have you have uh, shown uh, shown because you know these days don't come back again. Uh, you, when you look back uh, um, to your student days, you should look back very fondly about the good things that you did. So I hope you uh, all the best and all the blessings for days to come in your profession. And I hope 
that uh, maybe 20, 25, 30 years down the line, uh, we should be able to proudly say that yes, he was the student of government medical college. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, now, I request our Honorable Dr. Puranik Ma'am to honor our respected Dean Sir, Dr. Jayabhagash Ramanan Sir, with a moment of a token of love and respect from all of us here. Thank you, Sir. Thank you, Ma'am. It's good morning to Honorable Dean Sir, all the respected dignitaries, my dear friends, and every one of you present over here. Today, it's my privilege to present a vote of thanks and acknowledge the efforts of those who have worked really hard to make this event possible. I, Talia Fatima, on behalf of Government Medical College Jalgaon and the entire fraternity of this institution, extend my sincere thanks to the Almighty for making today's event a grand success. I extend a hearty vote of thanks to Honorable Dean, Dr. J. Prakash Ramanan, sir, who spent time from his busy schedule to raise the occasion. Sir, today we had an opportunity to hear your thoughts, and this will surely encourage us in our future endeavors. I would also like to thank Dr. Bhaskar Khaire, sir, who was the ex-dean of our college, who have beautifully laid the foundation of this institution. I would also like to thank Dr. Vijay Gaipar, sir, whose presence over here is valuable. Now, today's ceremony was guided by Dr. Kishore Engole, sir, who have been a guiding light that has always shown us the right path. We are very grateful and thankful to him for organizing this event to us. My heartfelt thanks to the heads of various departments and the faculty for their support, understanding, suggestions, and encouragement in all efforts. An event like this cannot happen overnight. The wheels started rolling weeks ago. With a deep sense of appreciation, I thank all the students who came willingly forward and worked under various committees like the Venue Lookout Committee, the Decoration Committee, Dice Committee, Sapling Committee, Dignitaries Welcoming Committee, Ganesh Vandana and Benventri Stavan Committee, Students Name Announcement Committee, Nameplate Committee, Refreshment Committee, and last but not the least, the Account Committee. Friends, seeing your efforts, I remember the word of Henry Ford. He has rightly said, Coming together is beginning, keeping together is progress, but working together is success. Today, each one of you have just made this event a memorable one. Lastly, I would like to conclude by a small quote. When we express gratitude, we must not forget that the highest form of appreciation is not to simply utter words, but to live by them. So, on behalf of this batch of 2021, I promise all the respected dignitaries that we will always come out in flying colors and make you all proud. Thank you. I request everyone to please stand up for the national anthem.